Now at five, lost in the woods for a week. Tonight, big news. This missing hiker was found alive in the Angeles National Forest. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Holmstrom. Hello, I'm Sarah Donchi. It is an amazing story of survival. A 73-year-old missing hiker found safe and sound. Yeah, Eugene Yo was airlifted to the Huntington Hospital in Pasadena. He was found near Mount Waterman, north of Angeles Crest Highway, about 11 o'clock this morning. CBS 2's Jake Reiner is live now at the hospital in Pasadena with the latest on this amazing story. Jake. Unreal, Chris and Sarah. And when you crunch the numbers, a 73 year old hiker goes missing for seven days in a forest that spans 700,000 acres. It's remarkable that he survived, but these rescuers always held out hope. Rescuers don't give up, but Mr. Joe did not give up. He was not going to give up. His family had told us he would not give up. A tweet and a picture of good news for once. The rescue wing of the sheriff's department posted. Search team reports they have found 73-year-old Mr. Joe after a week in the wilderness. He is alive. Condition is great. He is awake, alert, talking, making some jokes, and having a great reunion right now with his family. At 73 years young, Eugene Joe put his survival skills to the absolute test. And last Saturday, he and his friends were hiking a six-mile route near La Crescenta on Mount Waterman in the Angeles National Forest when he fell behind and separated from the group. He had no food. He obviously knows about some type of survival. He was looking for mountain strawberries. He was trying to catch frogs to eat, uh, but he has not had anything to eat in a week. Janet Henderson doubles as a Huntington Hospital ER employee and a search and rescue member of the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. She says Mr. Joe was able to follow the creek in Devil's Canyon and stayed alive by drinking water from it. He would wrap his jacket around him and his beach towel that he had with him. He got in close next to the hot rocks because it's very hot up there and those rocks do heat up. And that's how he kept himself warm at night. A weeks long search, which included upwards of 75 searchers from 11 different search groups, culminated Saturday morning when two searchers from Altadena Mountain Search and Rescue started talking with some campers in the canyon. And Mr. Joe heard their voice. And he said it took everything he had to roll over on his hands and knees and yell for help. And that's when the rescuers heard him. Well, the fact that he survived this long, as well as um, whatever uh, grit and intestinal fortitude he has, it's amazing. He was then airlifted here to Huntington Hospital in Pasadena, which brings us back to this tweet. The caption and the photo, a combination of relief for everyone involved. There was lots of tears and lots of joy. Um, he's just so happy and thankful to be back, and he said no more hiking. Yeah, and after hearing his story, I've given up hiking as well. Uh, it's unclear how Mr. Joe was separated from the group. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department is still investigating that portion of the story. Reporting live in Pasadena, I'm Jake Reiner, CBS 2 News.